Hi, this is Kamala. I am so grateful and happy that you've signed up to receive these videos. I'm, I love sharing um, poetry from the mystics and helping to have each of us connect our hearts to the truth of our relationship with the divine. So I wanted to start with the poem that you may have heard before, or at least the first parts, uh, Fire has a love for itself. It wants to keep burning. It is like a woman who at last is making love to the person she most desires. Find a master who is like the sun. Go to his house in the middle of the night. Smash a window. Act like a great burglar. Jump in. And what this means to me, and I'd like to invite you to just take a deep breath and feel just the sort of the passion, um, the willingness to be a fool for God, to let go of your self-concern. Um, I know for me, that's such a huge deal. I hate to feel like a fool. I hate to be humiliated. So this idea of just like, uh, just abandoning all the concerns about how I'm seen and instead just surrendering to the ecstasy of love for, for the divine, for God, and just feeling that mm, the, the passion and it feels a little orgasmic even right now, just thinking about it, just you know, allowing yourself to feel such passion and excitement and awe and wonder, uh, curiosity about mm, the divine, just like you would with a, a new lover who, you, who you've been desiring for who knows how long, but just you want to know every bit of this person. You want to be felt everywhere. And so that is our relationship with the divine. If we can just open our hearts and let go of our self-absorption in a way, at least that's how it feels for me. I get so self-absorbed. And what if I can let that go and just have this relationship with the divine that is new each time and so exciting that I can barely stand it. Ah. So I invite you to just sit for a moment and if you'd like to shut your eyes and just feel mm, a sense of awe and wonder, excitement, um, passion, having a really luscious relationship with the most high and having that um, also you get to feel that you are that desired as well that god delights in every aspect of who you are who we are mm. so i invite you to just take a few moments and sort of bask in that adoration, that love, that passion, that joy, that abandon. Ah, yes. And saying yes to yourself, to the divine, and to this uh, relationship that may be budding. Mm. So that's it for now. Thank you so much for listening in. Um, I'd love to hear from you, you know, what your experience is of, of having heard this piece of poetry and what, you're, what you'd love to have your experience of the divine be like. And hopefully it's like a great orgasm. Bye for now.